Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's been an incredibly busy morning here at the convent. Feast your eyes upon this. What do you think, Ryan? Wow. It is pretty wow, isn't it? So I finished the other bolt thingy, the steel rod, and I have essentially, essentially fitted it, but not properly yet. I need to change these old bolts. Um, they're all bent and knackered for these new ones. These are good quality steel bolts and nuts. They're quite long. This is the longest I can find, by the way, locally. If we drove an hour, we might find slightly longer ones, but this is the best I can find. Um, and it does work, it does work. I need to, so basically, see this thing here? We've only got one of these. And um, for some reason there's only one. There would have been two originally. So I need to remove this and replace it with one I have to make, and then um, that will essentially go down through somehow, yeah, and I'll just be able to get a single nut on the end of that. The original one has two, but what I'm going to do is weld the nut to that once it's through, and then it will never ever come off, yeah. So that is the plan. And then we're going to put the bell up on Wednesday, I think. Wednesday or Thursday. Wow. It's going to be good fun. I've got a winch at the chateau. Um, we'll have to use an EcoFlow product because we have no power up in the uh, bell tower. So we can do an extension lead maybe with an EcoFlow. And then we'll winch it up. And I'm thinking we should winch it up in one piece because I think if we put this up first, the headstock, get it in place and then try and winch the bell up to it, it's gonna be incredibly difficult trying to get it fitted up there. So I think if we fit it, strap a strap all the way around here and sort of lift it up at an angle, but not lifting it from the headstock, lifting it from the neck of the bell, lift it up at an angle it will go all the way up and then we'll sort of get one bit wedged in and then we can sort of lower it down gently. It's going to be good fun. That is really mild still. It cuts so easily. So that's a good thing to know because I'm putting in mild steel as well. <laughs> So yeah, let's cut the other one off. Again, that cut really easily, so brilliant. The steel bar that I'm going to put across here, I'm gonna slightly cut it in so that it can't move in the future. I'll just go down probably one centimeter. So there'll be a bar across there and a steel bar across there as well. And that's gonna be fantastic. And then here, there will be another steel rod going through, which will hold down the top part of the headstock. So that should be really good. Through. I've cut a slight notch, just so this stays exactly where it's meant to and doesn't go left to the right, anything like that. So let's put it in and see if it fits. Okay, look at that. So now that can't move when it's tight. I might go slightly deeper, but that looks pretty good, I think. It's done. Feast your eyes upon this magnificent thing that I've made. It looks fantastic. I've just got to tighten up the bell to the headstock, but I actually don't have any spanners with me here at the convent, so I need to buy some. But I've cut in the lovely steel, and they are now flush to the headstock. 
I've just got to round some corners on this steel here and then I'm going to dismantle the entire thing before it goes up next week and I'm going to use some wood preserver, some sort of stain or varnish just to protect the wood while it's up there in its new home in the bell tower. Originally there were two nuts on each bolt so when I tighten these little babies up I am going to put a weld on the end of each one and that means it can't come undo, undone, undid, undoed <laughs> in the future. <laughs> I can't talk properly, I've been working so much today, Ryan. But yeah, I'm gonna put a little weld on the bottom of each one, and it's gonna be fantastic, it won't undo. And um, a lot of people just think that the bell's just gonna fall down one day and kill somebody, but it's really not. And I did explain in a, f in a video from the past that um, this headstock, even if the metal things broke, that it just stays in place because there's huge cutouts that are about that deep each side. So, you know, the belt's never gonna come down, even if my dodgy workmanship fa ship fails. <laughs> I can't talk, I'm so sorry. What do you think, Rick? It, it's only gone and done it, hasn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> All the nuts are in, the bolts are in, the resin's in. The bell's hanging. Should we see how heavy it is, Rick? That is amazing. Come and grab one in, mate, of the steel rod, and we'll see if we can lift. It was dead with three, yeah. two, one. Ooh, oh, that's a bit of weight there, isn't it? Oh, mate. Oh, the clap. There we go. <laughs> no, we're done. Perfect. So it's not too bad, is it? That's all right, that. It's all very pretty, isn't it? Nice pieces of steel, all nicely firmed up, all sunken into the beam. That's a work of art, that is. Billy just said it's dodgy workmanship. No, no, he's, he always underestimates his work. That's fantastic work, that. that's really, really good. Should be really proud of that. Welcome to the 24 sink traps of Christmas, day 15. We can only do it once this year because we don't have enough sink traps, do we, Rick? No. No. Um, so yeah, unless we buy another project, we are looking at another chateau actually, but I'm not sure if we're gonna buy it or not because it is an absolute mess. But anyway, let's crack on. Oh, I got it. What's this numb behind the ear then? Right, whatever we find today, Rick's gotta to eat. You got you gotta eat whatever's inside this, unless there's nothing in there. I'm gonna put some Harry balls in it. <laughs> Oh no, this one. Oh, oh, there's some liquid in that. You said I had to eat it and you were drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we, shall I drink it? No, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> well, there's water in that, that's a shocker. Um, I don't think the plumbing works. Nope, none of the plumbing works. So, yeah. We found a cigarette butt so far and. Um, a, a drum of water, blessed water. Blessed water, yeah. yeah. So, uh, there we go. I'm filming with my iPhone, but we're going for a beer, aren't we? That's it. Well, and uh, what's the fruit we one called? Ruby. A ruby. I don't know ruby. how anyone, anyone can vlog on an iPhone. It's so difficult. This is Rick's last day of the week. So this, it's a special occasion. That's yeah. why we're going for a drink. We don't do it every evening. Um, otherwise, we'd be uh, oh, unhealthy and a bit skint. So quite expensive. So yeah, let's go. Come on then. Cheers, thank you very much. We've got a lovely view of the convent behind you too. Can you see it? Ooh, yeah. It's like a little, um, it's like a really nice like picture or a, a postcard. You drinking beer and there's a convent behind you. I'm quite enjoying it actually. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There'll be a bell in that tower come next week. It will be, yeah. There, or there will be, sorry. I just can't talk today. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> well, as long as you keep working hard, Bill, that's okay.